You have to go through the falling down in order to learn to walk. It helps to know that you can survive it. That's an education in itself. Everybody I know who is funny, it's in them. You can teach timing, or some people are able to tell a joke, though I don't like to tell jokes. But I think you have to be born with a sense of humor and a sense of timing. It's also selfish because it makes you feel good when you help others. I've been helped by acts of kindness from strangers. That's why we're here, after all, to help others. I love the writing. I love the idea of typing and seeing it on the computer and printing it out myself and, you know, moving sentences around. I like that. I have always grown from my problems and challenges, from the things that don't work out, that's when I've really learned. I never regretted turning down anything, I never regretted losing a job because I always felt something else was out there. When I was little I would always stand in front of a mirror and cross my eyes. Then my mother would come in and say, stop that, nothing will ever come. My grandmother and I would go see movies, and we'd come back to the apartment, we had a one-room apartment in Hollywood, and I would kind of lock myself in this little dressing room area with a cracked mirror on the door and act out what I had just seen. It's not a bad thing to be able to do many things on stage. If you're an entertainer, you should be able to entertain. I'm proud to say that I'm not a one-trick pony. When I was starting out in this business, that was the norm. You did it all. You looked around, and entertainers could dance, sing, play the piano, act, make you laugh. You have to really want it, and don't take it personally if you don't get a job. Because sometimes you're not the type. And sometimes it's somebody else's turn. But I didn't ask to have somebody knows around in my private life. I didn't even ask to be famous. All I asked was to be able to earn a living making people laugh. I've always been optimistic. And I have a feeling that it happened because of going to all those movies with my grandmother in the 40s because there was no cynicism. I was raised going to the movies with my grandmother as a kid. And then I'd come home, and my best friend and I would act out the films that we saw. You know, one wonderful thing that came out of my Inquirer experience is that, in my case, it was ruled tabloids or magazines. Which means they didn't have the protection that a newspaper...